all right back. Now let's get a good stiff brush. I should leave that clip in, clip in but I've just been talking to you on time lapse so you wouldn't have heard much. And before that I was supposed to have recorded the last brick going in. We've never got the brick working before 12 o'clock. There's always something. This time it was there. <laughs> I'm alright. You're not getting these now. <laughs> and names for them, but... Eighth of May, twenty past eight. I've been chatting to the customer, and while I've been doing that, Alex has got all the stuff ready and got it all out and set the scaffold up. So long he's been chatting. Yeah. And um, this is today's. We've got six to do. This we're getting a scaffold for this on Friday. I wanted to do this one first to get out of the way, but we couldn't get the lintel, so we got the next size down, which is a fifteen hundred. Which so this this one we're doing next. Um. This is our new scaffold which we bought off the Robbies. So this, this is it, standard. But luckily, I think we're, I'm not sure there's a lintel in there or not, but we're not messing around, take, lift it up or down. The windows are being replaced, so there's no need to cover the windows, no trims to be put on. Some of them were that bad, which you'll see in a second, these back ones, that um, the window fitters said they were not going to do it until lintels go in. Yeah. Because these are actually the good looking ones. Yeah, these are the good ones. <laughs> Yeah, so um, it's getting rendered eventually, but they want us to patch it back with red just to keep it tidy for now. It's definitely a, a, a contender for render anyway. So, and what we're going to do with that is we're going to mix it all normal, so just brown, and then later we're going to do a whole red mix and then do it all so it's all consistently one mix. So we're not trying to mess about with the gauge each each lintel then. The only one we're going to do is that one. That's our point, yeah. Because we won't be going back up there once the scaffold's gone. Yeah. Because the scaffold is going up and straight down again, so not blocking the door. And the strange one is, the back lintels need doing, but not the front ones because the roof isn't symmetrical. Symmetrical. It comes down two course lower there, doesn't it? That end goes down lower, so the there's no brickwork above those windows, but there is on that one, which is why those back ones need lintels. As you can see, the the pipe runs down and stops at the gutter. Where's that end? You've got your little oversailer, so it lifts everything up. Bit of weird design, but I'm gonna get my gloves on. I'm gonna get a hoodie on because I'm cold, and uh, we're gonna start having a look up here, catching a bit. Right, I've just strapped him up with our um, Milwaukee pack out first aid kit, which we got as a precaution, and we end up using it. And the annoying thing is, if we'd, if we'd had a proper look at it, there's a proper dressing for burns. It's no good now. That should have gone as soon as gone on as soon as he did it. It's like um, a gel weird. pad, like a gel pad, yeah. So next time he burns his arm, we'll be okay. <laughs> but as Roger said, you only do it once. So yeah, he's all dressed up and ready to go, and a bit wiser. I know not to move a, uh, not to try and move a wacker straight after it's done. Well, should we new move the wacker on your own anyway? Should you? No. Hop should be helping. Nice. Right, I'll go get your power tools. Put the rubbish up and put it by the bins. Excellent. Uh, Dad's uh, extra spoilt today. Not only has he got his wider scaffold, but he's also uh, he's, we've stepped it down so he can stand up. So now he's got a uh, a whole bloody. Three plank long, um, three plank wide workbench now too. But um, yeah, with the planks were that high, they were a bit too high, so I was on my knees. And the last thing I need to be doing is putting me on my knees. Borrow me a uh, hunk, knee pads. Yeah. Hey, I can have my coffee now. I can put my coffee on there. As long as I don't wobble too much. Um, I don't think there's a lintel in here. Is the acro? Is there an acro going to fit through that gap? What gap? Um, I'll push, push it back. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, hammer and bolster, please. Bolster up, wouldn't you, though? Yeah, both. <laughs> I'm alright. 
You're not getting these now. <laughs> Put them down beside your chair. I'm just gonna knock next door and let them know. Know what? It's gonna get a bit noisy because every time I hear a dog barking, I, I'm, I'm, I always get anxious that we're gonna give one a heart attack like you did. Well, then what? Yeah. It's not gonna be that noisy, though, is it? No, but it was freaky out when I dropped the thing, so I thought. Pass me a drink, please. Just letting you know, it's just getting a bit noisy. So. Yeah, we're going to go out okay. soon, actually. Okay. Yeah. You're doing the lentils, are you? Yeah. You want shot out of it? There's, there's none in. There's, no, there's, there's some in and some that aren't in. Some that are in the knackers. At the back and off the side. So we have an update, apparently. We've got an galvanised lintel in and a new and a tray. The uh, the tray's loose. A bit of newspaper, a bit of sand cement, and the tr the lintel is like 50, 40 mil back off the face. So the bricks are only half sat on and half sat off. And the only reason they stopped, they've stopped moving is because they just put sand cement over the top of the window to stop the bricks moving. So um. We're going to take this out anyway and put a new one in because it's it's down to be done and um, there's cracks in the brickwork unless they didn't prop it properly but yeah we're going to take this out and do a, do a proper job you can see there's too much overhang on that they get a B for effort yeah they've had a go and they've done the cavity tray but obviously it needs to be rested in that and there's, there's no um, there's no vents been put in <coughs> And any water that comes down here just goes straight on top of the frame. It's not going to escape. So what's the point? The little needs to project past the window. Otherwise your water just drops on top of your window. So there's a good chance if any water got on there, hit the tray down here, it just run down onto the window and down the side. So yeah, we'll um Yeah, we're gonna carry on and get it done properly. And there you can see whether you've patched it and not all done is pointed but not filling the joints. So yeah, uh, let's carry on. Uh, that's probably why we've got the crack here because that was just uh, pointed at the front. The rest of the uh, joints completely open. You probably had joint ten, about tw tw 20 mil of sand cement in there. The next one's the same so we're going to take that out. I'm going to fill that back up. Let's pop this brick off and then uh, carry on. That's been chewed up by the mice.
We've indicated for taking this out. <clears throat> I don't know why they've set it so far back but there's the tray they put in at least they tried with the tray but um, it looks like they've done a letterbox job tried to take one course out and slot everything in which you can't do you can't do it you've got to take it out take enough out so what we need to do is get this out <clears throat> get this out and then um, it depends how high our tray is I don't think we're going to get our tray under this tray so we're probably just going to come into the block work above it Put a bit of silicone on it and nail it, so at least it's fixed. This isn't fixed. So, um, it isn't fixed, it didn't go anywhere, no vents. And so any water was going to go onto the, onto the frame. And it was sand and cement as well, so it probably wouldn't have escaped, it would have just run down into the, but yeah. So this is our end out ready. We've got our insulation up there to stop the cavity collapsing in on us. And, uh, we're just going to get another couple out and get a prop in. I'll actually get the fix cleaned up already because it's very soft this stuff which is how we like it. So yeah, let's crack on. There you go, 2008. Adam. 2008 Jensen Button boosted by Brown's Brains of Brown. There you go, definitely a good call to carry on. We've never replaced a replacement lintel, have we? No. <laughs>
Yeah. 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 So there you go. This is like how not to do a lintel. All right, they've had a go and they've had a go with the tray, but that's where the, the positive end. <coughs> <coughs> the tray isn't long enough. The tray doesn't lap up, no vents. The lintel is set too far back and then it's just gobbed up with sand and cement. So any water just got trapped on the sand and cement and either worked its way to the ends or into the frame. The um, tray wasn't secured in any, in any, any way. It's, a, it's the right lintel, but they just put it about half a mile back. Because we'll, we'll be reusing this, but not on this window. Because, um, don't take it out yet, though. Yeah. It's, it's there. Oh, yeah, I need to have a tray back, don't I? <laughs> yeah, I'll put the cover tray back on. So, yeah, there's the old cavity tray, which is just. I don't know, it's just dangling there. I don't know what that's, what that's been doing. And there's the sand and cement where they've pushed everything in and just pushed it back. So, um, yeah. The good news for us is it's break time and we're done. Yes. Ready to start getting a mix on and putting everything back. Right, if we don't get at least some brickwork in before lunchtime, I'm going to say that this is going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Right, we're all propped up. Um, so it's nice to use the power tools because they're lovely power tools but it's always nice to be finished with the power tools and then it's PPE off we can crack on it's starting to warm up now now the sun's breaking through so it's going to be a, a warm one because it's going to be on us all day so um, Alice got all of it cleaned up already we took all the newspaper out replaced it with insulation and yeah we're ready to remove this which is just on a weird bite of it bed of sand and cement. I don't know why they set it back so far. You shouldn't have your lintel behind your window. The, the lintel should be as far forward as you possibly can. And the only reason why you set it back a touch is so your bricks fit on it. And these are quite wide bricks so you've got to set it back so the bricks sit on. Either that or you, you cut the back off your first course of bricks to get over it. But um, you need that lintel as far forward as possible. Hopefully the window fitters are going to set the windows back further and it's going to sit under our lintel nice. Just took all this horrible flaunching, haunching, pointing, whatever you call it, off. And it's quite... the brickwork's not bad behind that, so that can be left off. That's usually to hide a hand grenade cut with a hammer and bolster or something when they did the window, but it's looking okay. And um, yeah, we're going to get our tray on this nice flat block work nail it in, put a bit of silicon around it where the holes are, seal it all up, up stands on it, proper job as you know and uh, as Martin calls the, the lintel lifting line, the lintel lifting lads from Lancashire, that's what Martin's christened does because for, for some bizarre reason he likes the lintel videos so we keep making them, if we didn't do lintel videos we'd have no content, so yeah I'm going to go and get a brew now and a butty and carry on after bring. See you then. Right, there we go. As I was saying to the customer, these things don't rust. They just like oxidise. So it's not it's not damaged it in any way. So that's what I, what these look like they've been, they've been in a while, they got wet. Okay to be used again. But if I was installing this one here now, I'd have it there. Like that. Just on. 10 mil back perhaps, like that. Right, normal service can resume. Um, we just had a bit of an issue with uh, this thing, our camera. I said the SD card was full and wouldn't let us record anything. So when I checked the SD card, it wasn't full. So I had to download all the stuff that's on the camera onto my phone. So we saved it and then format the SD card, which basically wipes everything off it, what's on it. So it now says the cam, the SD card's okay and it's working. I'll just show you this where the where the lintels come off. There's the there's the that was the sticker off the lintel. As you can see, where the lintel was, it's transferred its let its writing onto the sand cement. So if you look there, it says the sixth of the 9th, two thousand and seven. 
so it was done 2008 that's when the link was made 2007 so um it, it's backwards obviously because it's, it's stuck on the, on the motor yeah clever that isn't it so um yeah i'll put it on time lapse now i've cut the I've cut the, the tray we brought, we brought the wrong one this is the two footer this is when you're doing 150 cavity to get over the cavity we don't need it this big because we end up cutting it down anyway and while i've been inside i've got the scaffold loaded back in the van i got the mix trap for him so we can um, crack on. It's just turned 11 now. So Alex, if we haven't got any brickwork done before 12 o'clock, he'd be very upset. Al, no mix, 11 o'clock. Hmm? No mix yet, and it's 11 o'clock. You said about before 12 o'clock. I'm getting there. I'm just saying, you said, you said if it's not before 12 o'clock, you weren't very really happy. We've only got 24 bricks here, I think. There you go. This, this, proves, this proves my theory of the letterbox of it method which is take one course out and shove everything in you can see the where they put the bed down that only works if you do a concrete rental yes and as they push the little back it's just pushed all the mortar back into the cavity which is never good let's have a look at the other end yeah this end isn't as bad there you go there's the top of the vertical dpc on the on the on the jam. So if I put the, the most of this off, put this back in the cavity actually. And then we'll get the hoover on it and get back to you. I tried the lintel and as you can see the frame slightly high so we need we need to sit, sit down on as tight as we can so it's from about halfway so luckily we've got the little grinder with us so I'm just going to take the um, the fins off the top of the frame this is great this because this is going we don't have to worry about it we'll just get on with the job saves us a lot of time and a lot of messing so Alex just get me a mask I've got the little grinder I'm using this more and more lately and then I'm back this off Thank <laughs> you. 
use is on. <laughs> we can't get, we've never got the brick working before 12 o'clock, there's always something. This time it was there, the frame needed cutting down to get the lintel over it. There's always something to, uh, there's a hiccup. So when um, the tray's in, we've got our upstands, it's nailed at the top and it's sealed. Insulation's behind the lintel, got insulation above. So um, that's all done proper. Lines up ready, mix is on, and we're going to have our dinner because it's just gone 12 o'clock. I just need to put a couple of packers under the centre of the lintel just to stop it sagging. As you can see, when you get weight on it, it does move. So we just need to prop that. And then, um, and that's the temporary one because the window's coming out, as I say. That's going to make it easier for the uh, window fitters when they come. All working together for the same end goal. So yeah, I'm going to put this on charge and we'll go have dinner. See you in a bit. Right, lunch is over, mixing on the board. It's just coming up for one o'clock. We started off so well that it's just with our issues and stuff and bumped into one of our old Brick Lane colleagues, Colin, having a chat with him at dinner time. And uh, yeah, he's doing the same thing down the road. And we've just had the number 23 ask if we'll give, we'll give him a price for his, his lintels. Same as this, the three side lintels. So we said yes. And once I've got that mulch on the board, I'm going to get these bricks in. set in the van at the moment. Work's going well. We're making good progress. Um, the customer has been really generous enough to go out and get us some um, coffees and donuts. And I don't want to be rude and not drink this, so I'm going. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it with you lot because I'm not really a hot drinks person, and we'll see how I do on um, on camera. Don't know what kind of coffee it is. I don't know the fancy terms and and names for them, but <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, I can't. <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> Can't do it. Oh, you can call me soft lad all you want, but nah, I don't get how you drink them. Mm, no. I should leave that clip in, clip in, but I've just been talking to you on time lapse, so you wouldn't have heard much. And before that, I was supposed to have recorded the last brick going in. Um, we're having a bit of a merry with recording, aren't we? The camera's playing up. I'm, I can't, I forgot how to work it. The job's done well. The tech hasn't. Yeah, and, and me. So people often ask why do you take the acros out the same day. The reason being, I explain this to the customer. The customer's dad. We've only got one loose brick here. 
and it, it hasn't fell out it was just loose so we've got the acre underneath it I've got a mortar packed underneath it and I put a piece of, piece of brick underneath it so it's not going anywhere and the rest of this we didn't need an acre under it it wasn't moving it was self supporting um, so and as you can see it's a very warm day very porous brick so the mortar is rock hard see it crumbling so there's no way even if the brick started to drop that that will compress because it's already rammed in tight you can see that and just a quick one do you want to remind them that we are doing a whole excuse me we're doing a big red mix at the end of the job to point it so before you're saying that we've left it it doesn't we've, match we've made it not match <laughs> yeah sorted, that's what i'm doing i'm just raking it back and once I've raked it back enough, I'm going to get a stiff brush on it and take all the snots off it. And then we can just point it up after. So this is coming out now. Because I guarantee that brickwork will not move. We've done, we've done enough to know. Uh, famous last words, but let's see. Well, quick one. Just a disclaimer. We're professionals. We do this all the time. Do not attempt this at home. Play it safe and leave it in overnight. But we don't. We're just doing it through experience. So don't copy us. Leave yours in to be just on the safe side. But if, if you're not a bricklayer, you shouldn't be doing this anyway. This is not a DIY job. <laughs> yeah, that's true. This is this is on YouTube more for entertainment and and um, tips for bricklayers, not for DIY people. Entertainment and education for what the process is. Yeah. What happens when we're working on your limb? You know what's happened. And so customers know how it took all day. Yeah. Took all day because Alex knocked the box, up, box over that a thousand screws in it and that's put them all back in the little separate compartments. I'm glad you find it funny, I'm not at that point yet. <laughs> Every single one. I'm enjoying not being stressed about the video getting too long on the camera. Yeah. We can have actual content yeah. instead of yeah. little snippets. Switch, switch it off, switch it off. I'm gonna take those donuts out the sun. All right back, now let's get a good I'm all right, thanks. Sure. You didn't drink coffee, so I had two coffees. You, you tried it, but you was the you coffee. Oh, I love the coffee, mate. It's not a cafeteria, I don't know, mate. Yeah. When I was in work, I must have been. I had to cut down on my caffeine because do me heart in. Okay. Give me an ectopic heartbeat. Yeah, I think I, I have as many drinks as I want to join the day where I just drink decaf at home. Oh, yeah. One in the morning and probably a couple at night. It's as pretty as it can be with them wonky bricks, all chipped and oh, all. But once it's uh, Potted, once it's know. rendered, <laughs> it'll be even better. Yeah. See, the old days it was raked out and put three to one in it. I don't do that. I've just started using lime mortar now. Oh, okay. Three pointing. Mm -hmm. 